Welcome to the shortwave radio channel, and here it is, guys, the uh, famous uh, Deep SDR 101. This is a portable SDR. It uh, doesn't have high rates on the internet, but uh, we still wanted to try it. When I found the sweet spot of the price, uh, which was, um, you know, here it's always been like about 150, 160 Canadian dollars. I thought for the performance that I see from the, everybody and from the, um, from the, uh, you know, all the comments I've seen over time that I didn't want to pay too much for it. And I had a sweet spot. I found a seller on the, uh, on Amazon that actually just got it barely for a hundred dollars Canadian, which is roughly what 75 us dollars. And uh, so I thought, okay, um, at that price, I'm I'm willing to take a chance and see what it uh, it's all about. And the first thing, of course, I've noticed immediately, and we're gonna have more on that is, I think there's gonna be a learning curve on this clunky interface here because uh, it uh, I need to uh, get the hangs of it before it starts. I've just been scanning the memories and you know been able to, of course, uh, also have keyboard keypad entry for the for the uh, for the frequencies and stuff. Um, I'm not, you know, there's no test done yet, so no performance and no information. I'm gonna to have to test it to give you my take on it. It comes into uh, a very, very nice little casing here. So uh, it's it was in here, all tucked in here. Comes with this uh, kind of quick chart guide that you could see here. And uh, of course comes with a charging cable a telescopic antenna that doesn't seem to hold very well uh, this little triangle thingy and uh, of course the charging cable as I said very portable <clears throat> so uh, this is gonna be interesting it's quite heavy for its price it's metal case which is also a little surprising probably the battery is the bulk of why it's a little heavy so uh, it also comes with a little pen <clears throat> to uh, course choose the options because some of them might be a little small so with the pen is going to be a little easier to uh, go and fetch different options that I want so I let this charge because it wasn't uh, well it, it's working so it was charged as you see the battery seems to be okay but I'm just gonna let it really fully charge and I'm gonna make videos so more videos coming up and for sure more videos today my first personal observation that I did notice is that there seems to be some FM breakthrough on shortwave. And if that's the case here, it's going to be the place where that's going to be a problem, as uh, this is definitely the um, place where I have a lot of FM breakthrough. The uh, connector here is a BNC, so I'll be also uh, checking this out with my MLA30. Uh, antenna so this is going to be something to check out also its frequency range is 100 kilohertz down in the long wave below the long wave up to uh, 149 megahertz I don't know why the 149 megahertz stop um, would have been nice to go at least to 174 which would have included the um, VHF high band as they call them including the NOAA weather stations uh, or Environment Canada here, so it's sad, but it does include in there the 2 meter VHF amateur band, which I'll be monitoring for sure on this. So, uh, beautiful screen, uh, seems to be a little crammed up with all the info, but we're going to check that out, and of course we'll have more videos today. For this uh, new radio, new toy to play with, that I'll give my impressions. Uh, speaker here on the left, there's an, um, a... Um, phone jack here your phone jack here on the right side you have the charging port the on off switch a uh, usb port that uh, might be i don't know uh, we'll see but it might be something useful for maybe updating the firmware i don't know i haven't i don't, I don't even know yet if uh, that's uh, possible on this thing and on the back there's a schematic of the receiver itself in a block uh, kind of the blocked schematics that they do on some of the stuff. So we'll see how it performs. We'll see how well it actually works. And um, I'll give my take on the uh, Deep SDR 101 
portable SDR, portable software device, software um, defined receiver with the touch screen on the back. If you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.